Hello and welcome to another short drawing session. This week, rather than giving you some instructions to follow, I'm just going to do a quick doodle uh, sketch for a friend's birthday and um, I'm going to review a new pencil that I got recently, which I'm quite excited about. First of all, the car is called Piglet and it's a, a vintage special which is based on a, a GN chassis which has that amazing Fraser Nash chain gang um, rear transmission and the engine is from a Model A Ford although it's been tuned slightly to make it a bit more powerful and if you've ever been to a VSCC event you'll have seen this car being driven very enthusiastically probably sliding sideways around the corners um, being driven by Dougal whose birthday it is and uh, yeah, he's as full of character as, as the car is, to be honest. I love looking at this car. It's just full of interesting things. It's got loads of rivets and louvers that are wonky and battered. It's covered in oil. There are holes in it that have been cut for the carburettors and things. They look like they've been cut out with a tin opener. It's just brilliant. It's just a, a feast for the eyes and brilliant fun to sketch. As for the pencil, it's a, a new pencil. It's a... a, a matte pencil so it's, it's a graphite pencil made by faber castell it's called the pit graphite matte and the one i've got is a 10b and um, if you've ever well you've probably definitely used a, a normal graphite pencil the sort of thing you'd have had at school or um, the softer ones that you might use for sketching and uh, you'll notice that if you shade a large area with one of those and look at it in the light how shiny it is it has a kind of metallic sheen because it's graphite and I find graphite never really goes completely black it tends to go to a kind of metallic shiny dark grey colour um, so the option of having one that goes to a nice solid black a nice rich black colour instead of that silver um, was quite appealing so that's why I thought I'd give this a go and compare it to some other pencils that I've got that are similar um, so yeah I should probably talk about pencils in general um, it, they probably come in three main types. So, so you've got graphite-based ones, the most common ones, and um, and then you've got wax-based ones, and then there are charcoal-based ones. There are probably some others as well, but those three are probably the most common ones you're likely to come across. So graphite ones, each one—I mean, each one's got its own plus points and negative points. So, so start with the graphite ones. Graphite pencils are cheap and strong, and um, they they glide beautifully across the page. Graphite is a is a lubricant. You can use it to lubricate chains and things. So it, they really do slide across the page nicely. So they're lovely to draw with, and um, and they erase nicely as well. That's another important point about pencils is whether you can erase them or not. Um, the softer ones can get quite smudgy, which if you like doing that kind of thing, that's that's a good thing. If you don't like smudging, <laughs> then it's a negative point. Um, that's one of the, I suppose this smudginess is one of the main reasons um, that I use I often use a, um, a Prismacolor pencil which is a wax based pencil like you'd use for colouring pictures in because um, I like the, the fact that you get a lovely rich black out of it rather than a dark shiny grey it's very matte and it doesn't smudge so, so I, you know, I like the fact that I can sketch in my sketchbook and then know that it can sit in there for many months and not get blurred you know, rubbed away by by being knocked around in my bag and stuff. So that's those are all plus points. The negative negative side is that it's very hard to to erase a mistake. So you have to kind of be a bit more careful. Sort of draw lightly first and then firm things up later. Um, charcoal pencils they're um, kind of they're they're very beautiful sort of to to use. They make lovely marks. They're very they give you rich blacks and. Um, they can be smudged if you want to and they the sort of negative sides of them I suppose would be that they're quite brittle they're very dry and they can snap easily as you're sharpening them or if you have them in your bag um, and they're, they're quite smudgy but you can erase them so that's a good thing I suppose um, and the other thing is because they're quite dry they sort of they they sort of drag on the page slightly, so they, you need you a bit. You notice a bit more friction than compared to a graphite pencil. So yeah, you just, it's just one of those things with it being a bit drier. Um, so yeah, so this this um, this pit matte pencil um, is I, I suspect has probably got some carbon in some charcoal because it to me it feels as I'm using it that it has some of the properties of a graphite pencil and some of the properties of the 
charcoal pencil. Um, I can feel it. It's definitely drier than a pure graphite pencil would be. So it's biting. It sort of takes a bit more effort to push it across the page. Um, and But I can see that it's giving me nice solid black colours. But it's not completely shine free. It's not totally matte. But it is much more matte than a graphite pencil would be. So it's kind of it's sort of in between. It does erase reasonably well as well. Not not as well as a pure graphite pencil, uh, um, but definitely better than the the wax pencil. So it's I would it's definitely a pencil I'm going to be using more because it it does give a lovely range of um, of marks from light to dark. It is erasable, sort of doesn't smudge too much. Does a little bit, and it's yeah reasonably matte. It's just, it's a nice tool to use. So yeah, I'd, I'd say. I'd, Give it a good seven or eight out of ten, I reckon, <laughs> if I was giving ratings for things like that. Um, one last thing I should say is that the one I'm using is a 10B. Um, but if you've ever used pencils from different manufacturers, you'll know that this rating is completely arbitrary between manufacturers. So it's, one company's 10B might be like another company's 3B or another one's 7B. So that you just have to try a few out and see which ones suit your style of drawing. Yeah, so um, I hope you found that interesting. I mean, I always love one of the most exciting things about being an artist is getting a <laughs> going to the art shop and trying out new pens and pencils. So hopefully you found that as interesting as I did. Uh, definitely give it a go. It's worth, worth a look, um, even if it's not quite the... The miracle that some uh, reviews have purported it to be. Um, it's a, a very nice drawing tool. So I um, hope you like the sketch as well. Uh, keep drawing and subscribe and like and all that stuff and hopefully tune in for another session soon. <laughs>